Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a first video on a new game called Tiny Keep. What is Tiny Keep, you may be asking? Well, Tiny Keep is a three-dimensional dungeon crawler game with procedural generation and hardcore elements. What does that mean to you as a player and to me as a player? Well, it's a game where you hack and slash as a little dude trying to escape a prison, a dungeon deep underground that has permadeath, so if you die, you're dead. You also can gain buffs by spending the coins that you earn in the game to try to get further and better stuff, better fun things. More fun? Whatever that word is. So, uh, the game was a successful Kickstarter back a few months ago. I've been following the game for quite a long time in the development, uh, kind of stalking it, if you will, and the developer has finally given me a key to play it. This version is pre-release demo, uh, beta 7, the game is coming to Steam on September 27th. There will be a, a page up on September 18th to pre-purchase it. Uh, this is the full version. It is full feature friendly. Uh, everything in this version that I am playing is going to be in the first release of the game on Steam. It is going to be a full release and not an early access title as well. So I know some of you guys do have some quarrels with that. So we're going to jump into a new game. The auction options are fairly limited. Not too much stuff. Resolution, full screen. No audio. Uh, no audio or music settings yet, but that's coming shortly, as I've been told. So uh, next up on the list, we get to pick our dude. Check that out. That's our little guy. Kind of a little claymation look to him in a way. Kind of the big head and the distraught body. We can do different settings on Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh no. He's got a green beard. Let's give him let's give him some real. He's been in a dungeon for a long time. He needs a gray beard. I think that's going with. And he's probably been really, really pasty since he's underground a long way. Because you ascend out of the dungeon. Jacket color, everything's gotta be white. Maybe maybe a dark, nasty brown. Oh yeah. That one. It's kind of an orangey brown. Oh those. Yep. Nope, maybe not. Uh oh that that's perfect. Yep. Definitely prisoner look, and you can be a woman. She doesn't have a beard, that's too bad, because she'd be a dwarf then, but she's not, although she looks like one. Whatever, let's get in and play rock and roll and dominate. So we're going to generate the game. The game does have procedural generation. The tech behind it is really, really cool. If you guys want to check that out, uh, links are down below in the video description too. Uh, it's cool. He's got a little demo that you can press a button and it'll generate dungeons on the fly in a web page. Awesome little piece of tech, and it, it outlines that on the Kickstarter as well. So this is us waking up in our little prison cell. And we're going to find papers scattered throughout the land that we can uh, see what they are. Or, we'll, we'll see what they are. <laughs> I've got the keys! Oh, I'm out of here. Hey, I couldn't wait for you to wake up. You sleep like the grave. I'll leave the door open for you. Don't take too long and be careful. And you best find something to protect yourself with, because those guards are not going to be happy to see us leave. Aha! So Maggie is our friend who left us behind because we, she didn't wake us up. So uh, we start up the game. H to view controls at any time. Uh, that's G. H, W, A, S, D to move around. Shift is sprint. Spacebar is jump. Attack with the sword. Block with the shield. I don't have those yet. We're going to have to find those in this first dungeon. One of the really cool things about this game is every, pretty much every bit of object is interactable in a dungeon. So it's kind of physics-based as well. You can tip over the little uh, fire pedestal, and it spreads the fire on the ground. If I run into that, I actually get caught on fire. And you can see in the top left corner, my hit points go down, my hit bar goes down. It does go out eventually, which is awesome. Nobody likes to be on fire forever. There is no stop, drop, and roll mechanism. Although that would be kind of interesting. And there are bad guys that can shoot us. We can dodge them. They're not the smartest shot. You can you can always figure out where they're gonna where they're gonna shoot. And I can jump. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you can jump and they'll shoot it above your head. Let's run out of there. I can eat the little fruit in the veggie tray to gain health back. So I wasn't so concerned about getting burnt up by the fire. Even though it kind of wreck my clothes even more. We need to find, ooh, a chest. We need to find, ooh, ow, and a trap on the ground. Need to find a sword and a shield in this first dungeon. If I hit tab, you can see the dungeon layout, and this is the procedural generation. So if I go back this way and to the left, then I can see that this way is open. It is. I'm going to eat that more food. 
and I can come here. So that map is now kind of completed in this corner, and I can continue moving out. I don't want to mess with the bruiser. No, I don't. No, says I. Except I could do this. Nope, except that doesn't light him on fire. Lights me on fire, and him. Run, 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 eat the fruit. Go, go, go. Ah! Oh, I got two of them. That was a good trap. Hi! Oh, thank you! Get the coins. The coins are great for buying skill ups in the. Um, the guard fell asleep and I was we'll able see. to just take this from him. It's gonna be a long way to the surface. I think you should have this. So Maggie just gave us the shield. Ta da! We have the shield. The guard was sleeping. This guy right here, he's asleep. Can't you tell? Wake up! Hey! Hey, you! Wake up! Wake up! Are you okay? Do you need CPR? Whatever. Uh, let's get rolling. Um, something done happened in there. Looks like fire. I'm guessing it was. Oh, and then this is the shrine. I can use that right away. Let's do that. It'll help us when we go find our shield. Lightning reaction. You are able to deal attacks faster than before. Ooh, attack speed increase. Our dexterity must have leveled up. We got one extra point in our, our D6 roll. There's the shield, or the sword. Gotcha. I had to use it. They didn't give me a chance. They were gonna take me to one of those cages. Take this. I can't bear to use it again. We got a sword. We got a sword. And a shield. You can block like a boss. Get through here. We can continue rolling through this dungeon, kind of exploring more of it. Or we could just find our exit. <laughs> I almost walked on that trap. Let's grab that chicken quick. Run through here. Oh, hi. What's this guy in here doing? Blee Balumbi. I did ask the developers what that actually meant, and he said nothing. Jibber jabber. We can let him out. Oh, and they have three different options they can go into. This one decided to go into a murderous rage. Guess who else is in a murderous rage? That spike trap. What do you got to say? <laughs> this guy is just useless. Yep. And the third one is they join your squad. They kind of help you out. They become a little meat shield and a little attack. They do fairly decent damage for only having their fists. Can go to the right. Hi. Would you like to die or something? Oh, you see that strafing move? That was awesome. And let's burn up that skilly in the cage because we can. Yep. Get burnt. All right, nine more money. We don't have enough. Let's go to the next level. And that took us all of four minutes and three seconds. Now, the developer has told me that he has beaten the game in 20 minutes, where I haven't beaten this game yet, and my last run took two hours. Um, and I died before I made it to the end. So, you know, there's a lot of room to explore and expand and get better and get lucky with those buffs and the things in the in the braziers bra whatever it, the shrine deals the moon moon shrine whatever that white thing is there continue escaping all right it's been so long since i was on the surface do you remember the pie shop on anderson lane just waking up to that smell was worth more than a hundred adventures or a thousand pieces of treasure. She's taunting us. We want pie. Too bad we only get fried chicken and plates of fresh fruit in the bottom of this dungeon. That's, I mean, she wants pie. We get vials of health. Look at that. A whole roasted chicken for me. Maybe even a turkey. I can't tell. Some sort of poultry. Maybe it's just a little, little pigeon. Cook pigeon? So nice of him. This one here is the 100 point shrine. This guy gives us uh, a little bit different. It's like a tier 2 spell. Oh, I'm stuck on the body. He hit me a little bit. Quit tickling me, dude. It's not cool. And let's get rolling. So we like to explore and go fast. I always like to move fast in these games. Uh, this one does pick up speed substantially as you get further along. It's a little bit slow to start with, but that's cool. And you can always use their buddies to attack them in the back. Ha! Oh, that one hit me. That one hit me. Ow! Did you stop it? I timed those terribly. Gotcha. Uh-huh. And we'll grab that because we can. Try to avoid the rest of it as we move on. 
There it is. All right. And get that one. And then we can bash the barrels and move the boxes. Sometimes there's extra coins in there. Or maybe not. Ooh, that's a grinder. Yeah. Awesome. These grinders are my favorite thing. One of my favorite things. You can lure bad guys in here and they get zapped, rolled over, grounded up. Okay, going through here. Let's try this away. Uh huh, more chicken. Bad guy just stabbed himself. Hey, girl. I saw you. If you sneak up behind somebody, they can't see who, where you are. There's a coin back here. Coins in the early game are very nice. Get out here. And that, uh, the camera movement, if you saw that, the camera movement, this is all statically done within the game, or dynamically done within the game. I have no control over the camera except for this way, left and right. Now, it's an interesting feature. It, it was kind of annoying to begin with because I was just like, oh, this movement is so fast, it's so jerky. But once you get used to it, it's very smooth and it works really, really well. Uh huh. Yep, you're dead. And then I'm going to knock you back on that thing. Use the traps. Great trip. Great tip. Okay, what's this? That is where I came into the dungeon. Right. I knew that. I was testing you guys. Uh-huh. All of the dungeons are circular as well, so you can never really get totally lost if you just keep going one direction. You can always find your way out. Uh, there are a few dead ends, but there's not so much backtracking. Okay. Mister, what you doing? Come here. Uh-oh, he's gonna take it. Yep. Now... It's a game of Wipeout trying to get, you know, the, the TV show Wipeout, trying to find out all the coins in the dungeon before you die. Oh, here we go. I was lurking in the shadows and managed to slip past while they were distracted. A band of archers came through and locked the gate behind them. You'd better watch out. One of them has flint and tinder. So, it's a boss fight to get the key to get out of the level. And I just recognized that would be the worst game of Wipeout ever. They throw a bunch of, of uh, keys somewhere and you have to run over them. Oh, he just stopped it up. Hey, buddy. So he is the one who has the flint and tinder. He's got, uh, like, nasty arrows of death going on, and he can't be burned. I'm gonna give him a little love tap there. Hopefully he follows me. He oh, you're gonna follow me. I think I got my sound turned on, or I wouldn't have heard you. Or you. Hey. Get wrecked. And we're gonna have to go back and get the boss. Where is he? Point. almost lost you. <laughs> Can't lose my precious. Boss man. Hello, boss man. Oh, that was it. He's pretty cake. If you don't use one of these, he takes quite a few more hits. Uh, I guess let's get out of here. We can get going to the next level. Ooh, we could do a bunch of these. That'd be fun. Dun, 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 dun. Feather bow. Your body begins to feel lighter than air itself. So you take, you uh, float longer in the air on your jumps. What is this one? Agile blocker. Your shield becomes less of a hindrance. I can move while I'm blocking now. Uh, super combo. Able to hit more enemies at once. That is one of my favorite. You can cleave. And arrows to ether. Become more skillful at dodging projectiles. That actually is a passive uh, miss chance for them. And agile blocker. Less shield. You can see in the bottom left corner down there is where all of the upgrades are. Pretty cool to see. I mean, you can keep track of it, and by the end of the game, you got half the screen up, uh, filled up with really cool stuff. So we're going to go to the next level. I'm probably going to skip out of this generation screen because you guys don't care so much, and we'll be right back. The bone or a bone of contention. Oh, snap. Chicken. At least I have chicken. Leroy Jenkins. All right. Here, Maggie. There's some sort of weird colored doors up ahead. Just imagine, behind one of those lies the exit. Why wouldn't give to feel the sun on my skin and eat fresh bread crusts again? Maggie is taunting us. She really is. I, I'm concerned that she didn't see all this chicken on the way out. Because, you know, it's pretty decent chicken. Okay, you're dead. This next, this level is, uh, the difficulty ramps up significantly. I'll just say that. Uh, this is the one I got stuck on for an hour when I first played it, my first playthroughs. Backpedaling, I should block a lot, but it's really difficult when you got three guys swinging at you. 
There we go. There's a cleave going on. Use my agility to block that thing. Get racked in the back. There is a... One of my favorite skills is a damage increase one. I'll gulp that. I'm cool with that. Replenished a lot of health. Keep going to the right. I always like moving to the right. Ooh, pinata, loot pinata. Wee. I accidentally found that out one time. It was awesome. I was not expecting loot to fall out of the pinata, and when I hit it, it was a loot pinata. Uh oh, I just put a rock on a trap. No, 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 no. That's not the guy I wanted to kill. You were the guy I wanted to kill. Yes, sir. 41? Okay, here's another dude. I want to get the 100 gold to get that point, uh, to get that big shrine. The tier 2 shrines take 100 gold. I think I covered that already, didn't I? Yep. So he takes 100, 100 coins. Woohoo! And a table room. This is where Blitz likes to eat. Rawr. You can tip these tables up. This is, I love it. Like, everything in the game is full it like moves <laughs> I love it it's awesome except the walls and stuff they don't move hey what's this I'm kind of jumping to conclusions here without showing you guys everything in the in the level this is the sapphire wand dun dun dun, dun. sapphire wand key unlocks a sapphire door the colored doors that Maggie was talking about in the beginning yep that is what we gotta look out for oh you got hit by your buddy how's that feel and this is where the game gets into the hack and slash I talked about earlier. It is hacky and it is slashy. Hi. Oh, dirty. I think there's some keys I left back here. They're a little bit hard to find once in a while. And they do despawn if you get too far away from it, seems like. Like that one. Nope, that one didn't despawn. Um, go down here. Nothing down here. So let's go up, and then we're going to go all the way through this room and all the way to the left. The guys do respawn a little bit, so you can farm to some extent doing the same rooms over and over and over again. Whoa! Grinder. Almost ran into it. I think the skill cap in this game is pretty high. Uh, it does take a little bit of effort to get good in the game and try to figure out and understand, oh, and not run over traps on the ground, or tip over those big fire pits, or get sliced with bad guys on every move you make, and every breath you take. I'll be slicing you. Yep, there we go. Gotcha. In you. Huh? Uh, scrap the chicken right now. There's the green door. Can't open the green door because it's locked with the green energy. Ow! You jerk? Let's go through the blue one instead. Hey, girl. What's your name? Gotcha. Oh, you take another hit. Mm-hmm. Go back here and up through. Unlock this one? Oh, giggity. The green door. Imagine that. Ooh, more keys. I don't want to hit that thing. I don't want to touch it yet. <laughs> I know something you guys don't know. Except if you played the game, then you know. Um, it is... There There might might be a little itty-bitty boss encounter at the end of the level. Imagine that. Spoiler alert. Okay, green door was back this way. Excuse me? Guys? You okay? Hey, honey. Gotcha. Hide in the corner. Run back. Ooh. What's your name? Having fun? <laughs> you see the arrows to Ether up there? I blocked it, or I dodged the arrow. These things do have a limited durability as well. Uh, back down and to the right. Right through the green door. There's the purple key, I bet. Since it has a slight purpley glow to it. Logical sense, right? Nice. Got you killed. Take that. Oh, yeah. And I don't have to pick it up. I do want to see if there's any coins under here, though. Yoink. 98. I need... Ooh, another... Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, no. Let's kill these guys first. Hey, how did you dodge that, both of you? You didn't. You have no chance to survive. All right. Let's go back and get that moonshine. I am right in the blue room. Okay, blue room, and the moonshine should be somewhere. Whoa, hello. This is good to know. Always a good idea to remember where traps are in this game. Okay, 
Where are we going next? Uh, it's near the beginning. I remember that much. I have a hundred gold. I want to use it. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Uh oh, there. I think is that it? No, that's a chest. Whoa! Where did all you guys come from? Good thing there's chicken in this room. I'm gonna need it. Ah, oh, I didn't want to take it yet. Gotcha. You're done. Backpedaling now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're dead. Get wrecked. Okay, next up. Finding the thingy I'm looking for. It's right away when we got into the dungeon. Hey, how do you like this apple? Nope, you didn't get knocked back. I kind of want, like, a kick button. I think that'd be cool if you could knock them back into other things. There's the shrine. Aha! Get dead. I'm coming after you too, Bruno. And then I'm going to go back to the shrine. Alright, and the shrine that is calling my heart. 100 coins in, uh, level 2. Regeneration, your wounds heal faster. This is going to be a good level. I don't have to, I don't have to chunk down food anymore. Uh, the blue room, blue room was all the way down here, and then this away. Ow! Regen, please. Um, please, yeah, there we go. Oh! Takes a half a s- oh, there it is. Uh-huh. And a- Is an empty door over here? No. Wait. No. Blue room, and then it's to the left as soon as we get into the blue room. Right. Yep. Okay. Let's see what Maggie has to say. I don't know what the skull thing is, but I found a sword lying against it. It looks older than even the dungeon walls themselves. It's different to anything else I've seen. I'd better take it with me to keep it safe. This place doesn't feel right. There's probably a good reason why that skull is bound in chains. So, she broke the cardinal rule of dungeons. Taking the sword next to the giant skull that's chained down. And we're going to break number two. We're going to touch the giant chained down skull. Yes, we are. And then everything floats in the room and our screen shakes. See the screen shaking? No, that's just me. Just kidding, it is. But I'm adding dramatic effect by shaking my character. Something doesn't quite feel right. Feel quite right. Okay, I can stop that. Sorry if you get uh, photosensitive nausea. Um, the invasion has begun. Sweet deal. That's cool. Congratulations, go us. Ow. Get off of there. Um, invasion, where are you? There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy number two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, lots of buddies. Ow. Whoa, bad guy behind me. Run away. Get the grinder. Grinder effect. Uh huh. Oh, it stopped. It plugged up. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Ow. Uh, I didn't need that. Run away. Another grinder. Oh, we didn't need that one. Hello, grinder. Grind him up, buddy. Ow! I got stuck. I got stuck on the, the dead body. All right. Okay. Next up, we find more guys to kill. I'm making this look easy. Oh, keys! Coins. Green coins. You're still only worth one nugget of health. One nugget of coin coininess. Uh huh. You're dead. Alrighty, where do we go now? I'm on a rock. I could leave the dungeon, but that's not so much fun. Uh, this is fun though. Get burned. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, pinata. Give me, give me all the money. I don't want to touch this fire again. <laughs> Got it. All right, next up, where are we going? Mm, go this way. I haven't killed these dudes yet. Uh huh. Ow. Oh, this is gonna hurt. There's a lot of them. 
stop hitting me. You can die. And now, oh, arrows to a third. And hit me. Hit me, bro. Oh, I'll let your buddy hit you. That works. And now I'll collect his sweet green loot. Ha ha ha. Okay, what's next? Let's go. Let's let's try to get out of here. I think I've killed enough of them. Is this the room I was at? 70. Oh, hi. There's more guys. Ooh, these are archers. Archers have money. Oh, this hurts. I want this money. Give me the money. Stop hitting me. There's another brazier. Oh, they, they tipped it back over. Good. I hit him. Patiently wait. Go in there. Got it. Hey, and... Huh? Alright. Get these keys. Ooh, another one. Coins, not keys. And now we're gonna escape. So, escape was up, right? Is that way? Maybe not. Let's try this way first. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. What is that thing? Surprise, surprise. It's a boss man. Hey, boss man. He even does damage if we block. But we can dodge out of the way sometimes. Oh, we're taking huge damage. Ow. Run away. R oh, that's not running away. This isn't really either. Okay, we need we need to we need to chill like a brother for a while. Just sit back here, be cool, calm, collected. All right, he killed my he killed the baddies. He's stuck. He's stuck. Uh huh. Can't touch me. Can't get through the door, can you, Tubby? Mister Tubblesworth. Oh, someone got a tummy ache. Mama says alligator's all mad because they got all them teeth and they can't brush them. There he goes. He's dead. Croc crocodiles? Alligators? I don't remember Forrest Gump. It's been forever. Gotcha. Good. We're going through. More dudes. God, Zook's Batman. How many are there? Check out these pro moves. Uh-huh. Bring it. Ooh, green stuff. Die. Hold on a half a minute. Is this not the exit? Oh, I think it is. Yes, it is. Woohoo! Ah, another one of these. Let's check out a couple more of these, see what other kind of skills we can get. Lightning reaction, able to deal attacks faster than before. That's times two now. Uh huh. agile blocker shield becomes less of a hindrance. Please give me... Super combo, able to hit more enemies at once. So that is a couple more that you guys can check out. I'm going to leave it right here. If you are interested in this game, I'm going to definitely tell you to go check out the links down below in the video description. When I have a full Steam link down there is when you guys can go check out the game on that page. If not, I will have the green light and the Kickstarter pages. Is it green light? I don't know if it's on green light. Uh, I'll have the official web page on it, definitely. And if you are new to the channel, please leave a like to the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'm going to be continuing this playthrough as a full Let's Play series. So, if you didn't enjoy, we'll catch you later. Keep your stick on the ice.